Hey guys, Cougar here, and before we begin today's episode, I wanted to give you fair warning that some of the stuff that we're going to be doing today could be considered borderline spoilers. Now I say borderline because we're not going to be doing anything that you couldn't or wouldn't do on your own at this point in the game. Remember at the end of last episode, we ended up outside of an alien portal and you could easily find that portal and activate it and walk through it on your own but if you don't want to see what's on the other side of that portal you should probably skip this episode if you are gonna stick around then welcome Okay. What am I? What are you? Let's get on with the episode. Hey everybody, Cougar here, back for more adventures in the amazing underwater survival game, Subnautica. At the end of the last episode, we found an alien portal, an alien arch. It looked like it might take us somewhere if we walked through it. And in the interest of full disclosure, I will tell you that in between the end of last episode and right now, I actually traveled back to base for a couple of reasons. One, knowing where that portal is going to take us, I wanted to drop off all that stuff that was in my inventory and start with a fairly empty inventory so that when we reach our destination after going through the portal I can pick some stuff up. Uh, I also noticed that I missed some important stuff that's a mobile vehicle bay fragment uh, on our first trip here or our, our most recent trip here through to the uh, mountain island and I wanted to come back and retrace our steps a bit and show you that important stuff that I missed. Let's just get some oxygen and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, you remember the last episode as we were waiting for the sunbeam to arrive, we were down here and as I was reviewing my after-action footage, I noticed that, one, I missed an important fragment, Cyclops engine fragment, and two, and probably even more importantly, I missed these. These are gel sacks that you will need to make aerogel. And a lot of people have trouble finding these, so I wanted to make a point of showing you that you can you can find these at relatively shallow depths right out here on the edge of the mountain island we are on the southwestern side let's call it the western side of the mountain island and we found two gel sacks and if you remember two episodes ago as we explored the very f one of the first wrecks that we were able to fully explore out in the Kush bulb biome zone we found an exterior grow bed so what we can do now just have a little snack what we will do now is take these gel sacks back to base build an exterior grow bed and plant the gel sacks so that we can we will have a a constant replenishable supply of those gel sacks now I'm gonna take us back up to the alien portal you we've already made this trip twice so I'm not gonna take you through it again I will meet you up there
All right, here we are back at the alien arch. We haven't been down there, but I don't believe there's anything down there. So let's go through the arch. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> that made me a little nauseous. Alright, we are in another underground alien facility. Or alien space, anyway. With another arch already activated. Looks like we could head back that way if we wanted to. But we don't want to because we want to explore this new area. Let's see what we got. I hear crickets. Scan a pig cap. Whoa. Look at that. This is called the lagoon. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Multiple energy signatures? Why would there be energy signatures on the island's surface? Hey! Guys, we are on the floating island. There's the back of the Aurora. There's our life pod. All sorts of fascinating stuff to see and do out here. What's that up there? Looks like some kind of man-made structure. In fact, it even looks a little bit like our base. Should we go check it out? I think we should. Not that way. That's not the way to go either. We'll find the right way, don't worry. Let's see where this takes us. Nope. Nope. Nope, this isn't the way to do it. This is not the way to do it, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna get us hurt. This is where we want to be. See, there's an actual, actually a little path there. So, one man-made structure up on that peak. Another man-made structure up on this peak. And if I peek my head over the edge here, there's a third man-made structure down there at the base of the peaks. So let's hit these two up at the peaks first, and then we will head down there and check that out. Again, for reference, there are the engines of the Aurora, there's the life pod, and the mountain island where we went through the portal is over there. All right, let's keep going. All sorts of stuff to scan here. This is a bulkhead. You can build these on your base. To help contain flooding. Water. A PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Now this is Bart Torgal's log number three. We don't have the this first is two the first yet. First time I've seen sunlight in months. A 
After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. New blueprint acquired. All right, so a few things happened there. You may recognize Bart's log from the cinematic trailer. Uh, we also scanned a bunch of great stuff, including, now we already have a grow bed here, so we're, we're not scanning, we don't have to scan that. But lantern fruit, now I picked one of these so that I can bring it back to base and plant my own lantern fruit. Scanned a bunch of stuff here, scanned an observatory that we can now build on our base. That's about it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Let's head to that other one. On the other peak. Now, in just in case anyone didn't know, you, you do take fall damage on Subnautica. So we want to be a little bit careful descending this peak. Sun's starting to go down now. It's not going to be great exploring this island in the dark. It gets very dark out here. So let's try to keep moving. dark here in just a minute. Get across here. Yep. Keep going up. I have brought two spare batteries knowing that at least one of my tools is running a bit low. Let's be very careful now that it's getting dark. We do not want to fall off here. It's a long way down. More stuff to scan. Here is a small marble melon. Probably one of the better fruit, uh, edible things in the game. New blueprint acquired. Now we'll pick up the marble melon and a Chinese potato and bring them back to base with us so that we can plant some for ourselves. Integrating new PDA data. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rate is too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? 
Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Yeah, I don't know why anyone would want to abandon this island to go get their feet wet. This seems like the place to be. But to each his own. We may be able to shortcut down to that other, the other base is down there. Let's see if we can shortcut down to it this way without getting hurt. <laughs> All right. That wasn't so bad. But cave crawlers, you can hear them scurrying around. There's one. Yeah, this is, this is not great. I do not have a propulsion cannon and fighting these guys in the dark is going to be very hard. Uh, now here's the grow bed that we we already have one of these, or we have already scanned the blueprint for it. Get away! I'm going to have to kill those guys eventually, I, I can tell. But <sighs> let's just avoid them for as long as we can. I'm going to pick up a, an actual regular-sized marble melon and eat <coughs> it. Ugh, shit. We only need the small one to plant back at base, so we can eat the uh, large ones for now. There's also another Chinese potato. I might, I might want that. Uh, another regular sized marble melon. That's that's a better food. Let's go with that. I'm trying to stay on the move here, so those cave crawlers uh, don't get me. Purple tablet. An abandoned PDA. Integrating new PDA data. What is that thing? I don't know. Found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the I think they're, they're talking about the purple tablet. Planet. People. Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. New blueprint acquired. Okay, so a few things happened there all at once as we were listening to that recording. We found another purple tablet, and we were able to find and scan the multi-purpose room. We can now build a multi-purpose room at our own base. And... That is a huge, huge, huge benefit because it is the largest compartment you can build and just very useful to have. All right, sun's coming up. These guys are going to die. Now that I can actually see them without the flashlight, I will kill them because they have been pissing me off. All right. Uh, let me eat something while we're out here. Chinese potatoes still good. Still need water, but that's where the bulbo comes in. There's bulbo right up here. Eat a couple of those. Now, I already have a couple of samples back at my own base, so I'm not going to worry about bringing those back with us. But let me get all my scanning done. I'm sorry, scanning is not the most exciting thing, but... It's got to be done. So that pretty much does it for all the exciting, interesting stuff here on the island. Actually, there's there's one other thing. And I'm not entirely sure where it is. There is a PDA lying on the ground out here along one of these paths. And I'm not exactly sure where it is. Here's a beach where you can beach your sea moth and get back on it. I don't recall exactly where that PDA is. Uh, I'm just going to run around the entire island and see if I can find it for you. Okay? Stand by.
Okay. Okay, I found the PDA. Here it is at the entrance to this little tunnel. I am on the southwest side of the island. The one of the structures is right above us. The other one is over there. And the PDA is here. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials? Like damn queens. Couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. All right, so that gave us a signal. That PDA gave us a signal to a proposed Degazi habitat at 250 meters depth about a click away from us right here. Now again, I just want to try to give you a sense of how I f where I found that PDA. I'm looking at the back of the Aurora right now, and it's right along the edge of the island here. If you stick to the edge of the island as you go around the island, you should be able to come across it. But I think that's going to do it. We went through the alien portal. It brought us out here to the floating island. We found three habitats out here on the floating island. We found a bunch of grow beds filled with delicious food that we can eat and bring back to our base with us to grow for ourselves. And now all that's left is a long boring swim back to our base. So I will not subject you to that. That'll do it for this episode. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And we'll be doing more Subnautica from the floating island. Stay safe. Stay dry.